If you are an ESTJ, ESFJ, ISTJ, or an ISFJ, then you have extroverted intuition or any in your cognitive function stack. Though you probably aren't super familiar with it because it's one of your last two functions. Bottom two functions are kind of like a villain from a horror movie who moved into your shed without you knowing. You don't know a whole heck of a lot about them, but they know just about everything about you. Oh, ISTJ, Annie just told me that you're all out of milk and peanut butter. Now I've already made a video about any but that video was mostly about high any users you know the people who let any crash on their couch not the kind of people who are going out and trying to get a restraining order for any but can't because you can't get a restraining order on theoretical concepts by the way you should watch that video later but for this video all you need to know is that extroverted intuition is all about ideas it's like google autocomplete you give it one idea and it'll keep on chucking out new ideas some are great and some not so much. There is a reason why autocomplete has the report button. Now if only you could have that for NE. You could say extroverted intuition is all about thinking outside of the box. But any lit the box on fire. Then it exploded it and lit it on fire again. Now no one will ever think inside the box. To any, there's never one right answer. They've had a problem with who wants to be a millionaire ever since elementary school. Extroverted intuition isn't a big fan of rules. If you tell any to jump, it'll grab a shovel and dig down. Yeah, it's really hard to believe that ISTJs have this as a function in their stack. Now, if you're one of these any challenged functions, then you might not see any of these traits in your personalities. So what gives? Well, we'll talk about that right now. Let's get started. Third slot, any. Yeah, I still haven't figured out how to say tertiary, so I'm just gonna stick with third slot. People really tend to overlook the third function. You don't use it as much as the first two, and you don't have a frenemy relationship with it like you do your final function. So it just tends to get forgotten. In many ways, I think people have the healthiest relationship with their third function. With the first two, you'll probably use them a lot. It's like your favorite mallet. You'll use it all the time. Cameras may work great on nails and old school TVs, but it's not really great for dealing with HR. But people with high NE don't care. Any tool can do any job. A screwdriver may not be the best tool to bake a cake, but any will make it work dang nabbit. Third slot users don't have this problem though. They use any when it makes sense, and they won't use it when it makes them look like an escaped mental patient. New ideas are great, but they have their place. While well, high NE will drop everything for anything new and shiny, third slot NE won't throw the baby out with the bathwater. They'll try new things and they'll keep what works. But that's about it. ESTJs and ESFJs didn't sell all their cars to buy Segways and then wait in line to buy Google Glass. ISXJs take comfort in brainstorming and coming up with new ideas. It's like self-care for them. And unlike ENXPs, they actually finish the ideas they start. ESXJs don't struggle with decision making either. They can use NE to see all the branching paths and all the options. But they're not going to be popping all six pills at once. As third slot NEers get older, they learn to embrace and even take comfort in the branching ideas of any. ISTJs and ISFJs have inferior extroverted intuition, and they hate new ideas and fun. ISXJs hate brainstorming so much they've invented the thought umbrella. It may be raining and pouring, but ISXJs are snoring. But if you got this far in the video, you probably aren't snoring. So boot that like button so the algo knows to spread this video out like any. ISTJs and ISFJs like to follow the steady broad path. You know the poem about taking the road less traveled by? Well, ISXJs will quickly tell you that that poem is about how your choices are meaningless. So stop being a special snowflake and follow the broad path that leads to destruction. Yeah, ISXJs know they need new ideas and to try new things. Like if computer nerds back in the 70s and 80s didn't try new things, then we never would have gotten Excel. And they just can't deal with that. So ISXJs know that brainstorming must come, but it doesn't mean they have to like it. ISXJs tend to use extroverted intuition in a bit of a negative way. Well, 
ENXPs will use any to come up with cool ideas. ISXJs will use it to tell you why all of your ideas are stupid and how they're all doomed to fail. They use any like a red pen, marking up all the bad things that autocomplete can come up with. I guess it's a good thing to talk about the dark side and good side of new ideas. If people thought about the dark side of having a giant ship go around saying, come sink me bro, maybe an iceberg wouldn't have come around and decided to take them up on that offer. It's just there's nothing balanced about the ISXJ's relationship with any. They hyper fixate on all the negative things that could happen. It could kill 99% of germs, but that 1% is Plague 2.0. This time it's personal. So they're not using it. ISXJs have a tendency to be doomers. They may also take six pills, but they're all gonna be black. But if you wanna hear about how any snorters deal with extroverted intuition, click here. Or if you want to learn about Inferior FI, click here. I've been Treble Knight, thanks for watching, special thanks to my patrons, and I'll catch you guys all next time.